I'd like to talk now about properties of water that are relevant to transport of contaminants from upland non-point sources to bottomland sinks. First, I'd like to talk about something called the colligative properties of, of the water molecule that make it the universal solvent that is capable of dissolving more substances than any other molecule. Once dissolved, these materials can move readily through the hydrologic cycle. The water molecule, which we all know and love as H2O, uh, contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. As it turns out, the, the electrons around the oxygen uh, are very tightly bond, bonded to the, the, the oxygen atom. As a result, the, the water molecule is a very aggressive molecule and the bipolar structure gives the, the water molecule the ability to attack and disassociate other molecular bonds. Water, more than any other substance on Earth, water is the universal solvent. It will dissolve just about anything. Once whatever it is gets dissolved, it's free to move with wherever that water goes, including from upland source areas into bottomland sinks. So water is the universal environmental agent that shapes the earth, both above and below the surface. Nitrogen, as it turns out, is very water soluble. It moves dissolved in surface and subsurface hydrologic flows. So once nitrogen escapes from an upland source area, it can move across the surface of the land with overland flow, or it can join groundwater flow as it infiltrates into soil moisture and uh, uh, groundwater flows. Some forms of phosphorus also are water soluble. Other forms fasten themselves to soil particles. So wherever the dissolved phosphorus gets moved by the hydrologic cycle, it's capable of moving from an upland source area to a bottomland sink. Similarly, the soil particles to which the phosphorus uh, material is attached can also move from upland source areas to bottomland sinks. Flowing water is able to detach, transport, and deposit particulate matter via the soil erosion cycle. Phosphorus also becomes chemically attached to soil particles, so phosphorus moves as, as a dissolved substance and it, and, and it moves as a substance that's attached to soil particles. 